Hello, I am John Paul, the Paul element of the Dowling Pool. And I'm Willie Dowling, the other bit. And the time has come for us to explain what the Dowling Pool is and how it came to be. Can we put some of our songs on now? I first got to know Willie a few years back when we both worked together on Ginger Wildheart's 555 album, which was probably the first pledge project to make any impact in the UK. I think we'd done one or two odd gigs together, I've certainly been on the stage at the same time, but I remember looking at him in the studio and thinking that I'd no idea he was such a unique musician and I was very confused. As we were working together, I noticed that every now and then he looked at me in that special way. And I remember thinking when 555 was all over, I wonder if I dare ask him if he'd fancy doing something together. Meanwhile, I was thinking along the same lines and started writing some bits and pieces. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. I thought I'd give him a call. I remember he rang me and beat around the bush for so long. I decided to put him out of his perpetual misery. I'm not miserable, but my face is. Do you want to do something or what? I said. I remember I was so relieved that he was into the idea that uh, I ended up doing a little dance around the studio that has since been renamed Twerking. So myself and Miley Cyrus Locked ourselves in the studio in France for a few months and we got cracking. For me it was a bit like finding a missing link. Everything he brought to the table I thought, Christ, I wish I'd written that. Without getting all poncy about it, which I'll leave to him, I thank you. we just fit. No other words for it. Whatever I had, he added to it. Whatever he had, I did my thing till in the end you'd be hard pushed to say who wrote what and who came up with whatever. Although you might have fun trying to guess. The sum of the two of us together became greater than the individual parts pretty much immediately. And for me it was the first time forever that I was playing catch up with someone who had talents way beyond the norm and that I doubt many people are aware of. But before we start seeing each other's c- Let's get back to the history of it. We recorded the whole thing as a two-man band, and along with some vocal assistance from the fragrant Givy Flynn, we quickly turned our various pot noodlings into a fully formed album, which in our humble view is the best thing that either of us have ever done. There's a definite theme running through the album, but you'd be hard-pressed to describe it as anything other than a sort of nod and wink to the very best of uh, quintessentially English idea of songwriting incorporating what you might expect from both of us, I guess, but with the addition of something way beyond that. The truth is that with us both having extreme input on each other's work, the lines of who did what, and to whom, are blurred in a semi-psychedelic pop-flavoured mist. You're hearing some of the tracks now with this video, and you've heard Hey Stranger. A fantastic song written for and about Tim Smith, John's old partner in crime in the much-missed Cardiacs. Hey Stranger I dreamt about you once again A picture of the past And all the places that we played Whatever I remember you this way Which is available to download now if you pledge and free to taste on SoundCloud. So there you go, a brief description of what to expect from Bleak Strategies. Next time we'll go into a little more detail and perhaps even introduce you to Edwina properly. You'll probably meet her informally over the next couple of weeks. Meanwhile, we'd love for you to be proactive on our behalf and play this video and Hey Stranger to everyone you can and urge them to pledge. Go on. Enrich your lives with some multifaceted technicolored beauty and sunshine from the infectious kaleidoscope of The Dowling Pool and our album Bleak Strategies. Strategies.